Auto Detailing by Me is the leader in auto detailing in Southern West Virginia. We offer several exterior as well as interior detailing services, including engine shampooing, convertible top cleaning, interior fabric protection, and long-term paint sealing. There are detailing packages to choose from to fit any budget. We also offer custom decaling and over 200 colored bed liners to choose from. See why Auto Detailing by Me is Southern West Virginia's leader in auto detailing. Visit us on the web at autodetailingbyme.com or call us at 304-461-0049. Well, I tell you what, gentlemen, we got ourselves a great main event. I tell you what, it, uh, if you look at the, all the tag teams that were in this, it pretty much, of course, in wrestling, anything can happen. But when I first looked at the... Uh, what the matches were, this is pretty much what I predicted, but yeah. It's a fantastic culmination for all the action we've seen this evening. A fitting tribute to an incredible man. Rear waist lock by Damian Wayne on Frank Parker. Frank grabs a hold of those fingers though. Big and strong as he is, he can take that apart. And he goes and he right behind Damian Wayne with his own rear waist lock. And I tell you what, I'm really interested in this matchup here because it's power versus power in that ring right now. Oh, yeah. But you still got to give a size advantage to Frank. <laughs> well, what? I'm sure Damian Wayne is definitely feeling that size advantage right now, Bart. Uh, I mean, you know, yeah, they're going to have to. I don't know. I mean, you know, he's I don't blame him. I'd get uh, I'd get Lance in there, too. I'm telling you, we, my brother and I, we used to work the death and destruction back in the day. I mean, we we had a hard time trying to and get look what our we own have in the ring right now: student versus teacher. Student. Yeah, yeah, that's it, right there. Lance Erickson, firm control the side headlock on Frank Parker. Frank looking for his positioning in there, backing Erickson up into the ropes, sends him off to the other side. Once again, size advantage goes to the tank. They don't call uh, him the tank just because it's a colorful moniker. Uh, he is a no, tank out there. He's, uh, he's a big old boy. That's the way I call him. And here's the other thing I think about. I'm sure he taught Lance Erickson well, but he didn't teach him everything he knows. Oh, no. No, no, no. It's uh... To be fair, though, he may not have taught Erickson everything he knows, but since he taught Erickson, Erickson has learned a whole lot more. I've got his... I've got to agree with you on that, too, as, as hard as it is for me to agree with you. But, uh, you know, it's once you get on a path and you start pursuing that path, so down the road, gentlemen, I tell you, you run into people that will give you a little tidbit here and a little tidbit there. And while uh, Lance is sitting there in an arm bar, but – I'll tell you, I'll, I'll say this, and then I'll, I'll start watching, calling the matches, but one of the most influential people that we met in our wrestling career and our lives, other than the Poffos, was Bruiser Brody. Do you, I know you all remember oh, him. Yeah. There's a legendary name drop. He, he was a great man. Erickson, thumb to the eye, yep. tag out to his Just, partner. Yep, and uh, drop toe hold there again. I like that. And Drake Side Tungsten, headlock. Yeah, Drake Tungsten immediately capitalizing on that drop toe hold and slowing and, the pace of the match down. And, you know, Tungsten on top of his game, and he has to be. From where I've watched everything this evening, I would assume he is the man that has absorbed the most punishment all night. He doesn't have a whole lot of room to absorb a lot more in this contest. Well, again, though I hate to do it, i got to agree with you on that. You know, Bart, they call me the Credible Hulk because I make sound points and I back them up with logic and facts. Sometimes, not all the time. Well, I was going to say, uh, is, is it just logic and facts or is, do you eliminate truth from that? There's a little fountain of misinformation. Okay, we'll talk, okay. We'll talk about well, that later. All right, all right. What's right. happening let's, in the ring, let's, though? Let's get back to the matches oh, here. Yeah. Well, trio, whoa here. Whoa, did you see Damien Swain hit off the head, hit off the mat there? Oh, well, yeah. Drake Tungsten just measuring him like a photograph. Well, he's tied to the tree, and oh, whoa, is he? Oh, oh whoa, whoa. I whoa. think that's worse than getting slid into the tree. Speaking of whoa, oh. oh. 
I, oh, I, 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 I think any male that's watching this or in the oh, the look on Damien's face tonight, it's uh, we can all relate to that. And Jock, you know what? Or, I was thinking of Jock, Steve. Well, I see the gold standard in the distance. But here's why I was thinking that: because that don't tickle. You're right about that one. Uh, boy, that's an understatement <laughs> if I ever heard it. Tungsten going right back after Damian Wayne. I got to give him credit here on this one. He's doing exactly what he needs to do. He's following up. Damian Wayne, though, tough as they come for all the hurt he's in right now, giving it right back to Tungsten. And man, was that chop vicious or what? I felt that over here. I'm just, I have to admit, I have to agree with you, brother. I'm feeling that over here. Oh, no. That could have broke some fingers there going directly into the ring post with all full force. Well, Damian may not want to follow up with another chop using that hand for a few moments. Uh, boy, Advantage to Tungsten for the moment. And Tanks, that's, uh, Tungsten uh, taking yeah. out the other hand now. Absolutely, absolutely. You know, that's a good strategy. Let's take away both of the hands of Damian Wayne. See what kind of position that Five leaves me in. in the match. <laughs> Five minutes. Uh, and then let's give him to the tank. Well, it, trust me, the tank can take care of business. And, and Tank wrenching that arm, I believe that was the yeah. one that was in the ring post. Great. Nice combination, scoop slam and hammer lock. A big knee to the skull. Yeah, that was, uh, I'll tell that, you, Frank Parker, he knows when it comes time for him to dish it out, he can dish it out. I can tell you that right now. That man was born ready to fight coming out of the womb. Referee telling Frank to get out of the ring. Let's see him move, Frank. Uh, yeah, he's... But, well, here's the thing. Frank should not know who would want to get disqualified this far into the game. Who's brave enough to disqualify Frank at this point in the game? I think that's, I think that's the more important question right there. Well, Damien going to the wrong corner for a tag here, and that speaks volumes of the state he's in right now. If Tungsten and Parker have a moment to lock this thing up, it's right now. Oh, straight shot to the throat, yeah. and... And he's going to the wrong corner again. Damien Wayne, yeah. uh, you got to wonder, will he go to the other one? The one with Frank Parker square oh, in it. Oh, Well, possibly. that would be a mistake. Oh, bionic elbow. Very Wait, close there. Yeah, I was going to say, that was really close. I don't know. It's uh, Damian Wayne looking a little concussed out there, but a rick of the eyes will slow any man down. Yeah, absolutely. And now Lance Erickson getting the chance to come in. Oh, underhanded tactics by one half of the Mid-Atlantic Tag Team Champions. Reversal yeah, of the Irish whip, though. Walks into a hip toss, does uh, Erickson coming yeah. off the ropes. Boy, Tungsten. I tell you, that was... Uh, that was a brutal hip, hip toss there. Great tandem teamwork by the team of Tungsten and Parker. Doing well to follow up off yep. the momentum of the other one. Look well, at the power of Frank Parker. I think not only did he take down Erickson, but he moved the ring about six inches. Um, yeah. Well, maybe just four. But, <laughs> but. And showing no mercy. No, I'm telling no, you. And you got to do that in this type of situation, don't you, Bart? Yeah, you can't show any mercy to your opponent, at, really, at any time. And you know, as all out as I thought Frank Parker was earlier in this evening, as tough as I thought he looked, he looks tougher right now. Everything that we didn't see before we're seeing in this contest, that's how important it is to the teams involved. Absolutely. I mean, I mean you're looking at a tag team title match here. So, I mean, you know, it's... Absolutely. They both want the prestige of being the winners of I that mean, Ward Wilson Memorial. Yeah, exactly. Because three of the four men personally worked for Ward Wilson. Right. And, and Damian Wayne, I'm sure, has been educated by Erickson of what a man Ward Wilson was and meant to this business. And, uh, you know, we... Uh, Holy oh! cow, where did that come from? T-Y-F-H-O, take your freaking field, head off. I believe, I'm telling you, that uh, boy Frank doesn't look like he's happy about that. No, and Damian Wayne getting the tag to come in and just measuring Drake Tunston with that elbow. And you hear the crowd 
getting very amped up for this one. They are into the moment right alongside us, gentlemen. Oh, absolutely. You can feel the electricity in this arena tonight. Well, it's, uh, it was back and forth there at the beginning, but uh, it's, uh, I'm telling you, it's, whew, man, that's, well, that'll, that'll, that'll work on your neck, on, on the muscles. The those trapezius oh, muscles? Oh, yeah, oh, yeah. It's, well, Tungsten coming off the ropes. Wow. Held the drop kick. That was a great drop kick. <laughs> That's what they would call textbook. Yeah, exactly. And Damien, tag out to his partner. I great fight of the leg. You know, you got to give the devil his due. Great elbow by Lance Erickson to capitalize. Pinning the situation. This could be it. Oh, no. Two and, count only. And you know. A guy as big as Erickson is, a move as simple as an elbow drop from a standing position still carries a lot of power behind it. And a lot of weight. Absolutely. And he knows how to use it to his advantage. Ten minutes has elapsed in the match. Ten minutes. And i got to be thinking, Bart, and I may be a little naive here, but these guys have been giving it all for their ten minutes. How much could they really have left in the tank at this point? Well... I can only speak from the way me and my brother used to approach things, but every time we, we had a tag team time, say we were defending our belts, it was a 60 minute time, in, time limit. So we tried to prepare ourselves for 60 minutes in the ring nonstop. And, you know, we, we weren't going to, we weren't going, if we got beat, it wasn't because we were out wrestled or, you know, we were out, we ran out of gas and we couldn't fit. You know what I'm saying? We, we concentrated on that. Boy, that was uh, a very solid elbow there. And Erickson. He, he might have uh, cracked the nose of Drake Tungsten there. Yeah, I'd, I'd worry more about, it looked like it hit him right on the chin. I'll tell you what, that'll, if anybody's been hit, if you've been hit on the chin, that kind of gets you in a little bit of a daze. And uh, Damian Wayne poking the bear, metaphorically speaking. Absolutely. Which can't be good for anybody at this point. Yeah. Well, I mean. I'm not sure how metaphorical that statement is. <laughs> uh, I guess we could say it was metaphoric. Metaphorically mortifical. <laughs> I just ruined that, didn't I? Uh, nah, you didn't. You didn't <laughs> no, oh. no, he was right the first time, but you cannot ruin this great contest. Absolutely not. Okay. Uh, boy, now, that was a chop, wasn't it? I but think? here's the thing I think about. That's okay. the hand that went into the ring post no less than five minutes ago. Uh, you, you saw Damien oh yeah, oh wiggling yeah. those fingers after that chop. Yep. So he felt that too. Yeah, oh, yeah. I'm... <laughs> Sometimes you forget about things, and when you just like that chop, well, he, he got a real quick memory of his hand being thrown into the turnbuckle post. So, hey, you know. It's... Damian Wayne going into that high rent district, and. Are you kidding me? Oh my oh. God, he nailed him with it. Tungsten rolling out of the way, still got caught on that one, but Damian Wayne not landing the way he wants to right now. This is a race. It's any man's game. Whoever gets the first tag is going to be in the better spot. And there is so much on the line. Not much time to lay down I'll there tell on the you mat. What, I'm, I'm sorry, guys. I'm just sitting here wondering. Oh, oh no, no. I'm, I'm into this match. You're, you're, you're a great spectator because that's how, I mean, that's what it is. Yes, we are all professionals in this industry, but it's at the Erickson in. we're all fans. But here comes Frank Parker, though. And Frank Parker unloading on Erickson. Nails Damien, what a close line on Erickson. Another close line, big boot, and what a DDT by Frank Parker. This could be it. Two count. Oh. oh. So close. And in the words of the great Gordon Solo, we got a Pier 6 brawl out there right now. Reverse on the Irish rip. The tank's Oh, the oh. oh. Eric oh. Foster going down like a sack of potatoes. And the referee made a very huge mistake there with his position. Wait a minute, here comes Brandon Ashworth, one of the junior referees here in NWA Mid-Atlantic. Ashworth 
to his credit, taking the time to make sure the other referee is okay before he takes control of this contest. And I tell you what, look at the way Frank Parker is just capitalizing there, tossing out Damian Wayne like yesterday's trash. And now Brandon Ashworth looking like he's going to be the referee for the rest remainder of this contest, unless Eric Foster is able to recuperate. Double wow. team by Tungsten and Parker. What a great double clothesline by both men. And Drake Tunston now putting the boots. Wait a minute, this could be it. Two count only. I mean, Tungsten with a cheap shot on Damien. But Eric, and I gotta give credit where credit is due. Erickson really fighting his way out of this one. Well, he's a fighter. What, this, is, uh, this is getting very interesting, I think. I'm sorry for uh, Are you uh, kidding no, me? No! Well, there goes another referee. At, at, not a good day to be a zebra. No, it's not. Not and at it, all. And here comes Patrick Big Bird Nicholas to the ring. You know, I got to say, I love that nickname, Big Bird. A lot of weight on his shoulders right now. Two count only. Speaking of weight on shoulders, I mean, Frank put everything he could on those shoulders, and he still kicks out Damian Wayne in there. 15 minutes has elapsed in the match. 15 minutes. And Big Bird trying to control this one, but if history has proven anything, no ref on this planet can control these four men. The rules are out the window. All men are in the ring. Does anyone remember who is truly legal? Oh, no. Uh, wait a minute. Nicholas is down. I think that's the last referee we got back in the dressing area. You have got to be kidding me. This, I, I mean, what happens now? Damian Way going over the top rope. No NWA rule here tonight. Well, Tungsten and Parker still standing tall with Erickson in the ring, sending Erickson across. Attempted double toe slam. Erickson ducks. Erickson comes in. Picks up Tungsten. Wait a minute, Frank Parker's foot's caught. Side slam into a backbreaker by Erickson on Tungsten. He oh. calls to Damien. Damien scaling the ropes. And, oh! Nailed the elbow drop. But here's the thing, Steve. It doesn't matter how powerful that elbow drop was. There is no man to make the count. There right. are, You're absolutely right about that one. No argument from this corner. This could be this could be something. One, two, wait a minute, what's wait a minute, Bart Batons, what's he doing in there? What the heck's Batten doing out there? Wait a minute, one, two, oh, wait a minute, no, wait, wait. Is this is this it? No, wait a minute, I don't know if this is Did Frank Parker just pull Batten out? What? I I'll tell you what, this has lost complete control. I have not one clue what to make of any of this situation. Absolutely not. I mean, why did Bart Batten get involved here at this point? Well Parker Batten. Wait a minute, ring. Erickson, no! Oh my God, Parker has him up! He's Parker up. has him up! Oh, and he nailed him good! He nailed him good, Ashworth! Hold Ashworth on, Foster's away. here! Holy mother of God, this could be it! And that's it! That's it! That's all she the wrote! The winners of the match, Frank the Tank Parker and Drake Tungsten. The winners of the Ward Wilson Memorial Championship Tag Team Tournament.